Guys, I'm Biospark88 is back again. My my previous video was starting to run a bit long and just for efficiency purposes, I had to crack the all but the remaining four packs in the box off screen. But I got to say there were some damn good pulls in there. I mean, look at that. I pulled Chandra as a, as one of my mythics. I got the awesome Oracle of Muldaya. The Ameria Angel, Day of Judgment, yet another Magosi, ugh. Luminarch Ascension and Archive Trap. Those are all pretty good rares, that all, and they all seem to be clustered toward the bottom of the box, as they usually are. But, or are they? They're at the bottom of the box when the box is full and you're at the store. And they're at the top of the box and have already been taken when you get there and the box is almost empty. Murphy's Law, I know, right? Ah, so is life. But nothing beats the gamble of cracking open boosters and, and the thrill of what might lie inside. So, now I will crack open the remaining four on camera for all my loyal viewers to see. Please uh, stand by while I get the scissors. Alright, I, I scissored open the remaining packs off screen. So now you can see me open the last four without a hitch. And here we go. Cliff Threader. A Core Scout, Mountain Walk, Piranha Marsh. I've gotten quite a few of these common tap lands. Raising Gladeheart, yeah. Pretty much all of these are old hat by now. Plated Geopede. This one can be a part of some pretty devastating combos. Landfall plus first strike, nice. Slaughter Cry. <laughs> oh, that flavor text is such a is a real riot, isn't it? Target creature gets plus three plus zero and gains first strike until end of turn. Uh, not a bad pump spell. Draga Bard. Wow, a green card that gives vigilance. That I thought vigilance was almost strictly a white thing, but eh, the color pie isn't absolute. Sunspring Expedition. Life gain. This could be good if you're paying a lot of life. Grim Discovery. We all know that one. Mark of Mutiny. Yeah. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it and untap it. This creature gains haste until end of turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet another river boa. Carnage altar. Th three and sacrifice a creature. Draw a card. Once again, if you like to sack things, this is pretty good, but a little expensive. Rampaging Baloths. I think I already have one of these. But I have to say it's pretty cool. Okay, we have a then we have our mountain and an elemental. Uh not not the awesomeness of the packs that went before it, but still can't can't complain after all the stuff I got. Now for our next pack. This one better be good. I've really gotten a sense of how this set is collated now. From all my bold defenses that are always the first card. With a Nimana Cell Sword right after them. Oh yeah, another Vines of Vastwood. This one is a constructed quality Giant Growth plus Shroud. Yeah, you can't go wrong with it. Crypt Ripper. Ah, black creature with haste. You don't see too many of those. And a Crypt Ripper gets plus one plus, and you can pump it. Can't complain. Expedition map. This is a good one. I've gotten quite a few of these. Once again, Tutor for Land. Tangle Sap, Goblin Short Cutter, Lethargy Trap. 
Undo Cleric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tajuru Archer. You can do, once again, Green's Trademark, Flying Hate, and Ally Form. Arrow Volley Trap. This could be pretty evil when you're being, when you're up against aggro, you can really shut him down. Quest for Pure Flame. Killer name. It's like Furnace of Wrath in quest form. Molokir Blood Witch. Wow, and a vampire deck. That, this could be pretty nasty. Is land. Oh, I think there's going to be a foil in here. Yep, Caravan Herda. A life linker. <sighs> Why does my foil have to be such a lame creature? Uh, I don't know. You, you win some, you lose some. Alright, two packs left. Let's go. Explorer Scope, even more land tutoring. This set is loaded with it. Disfigure, it's like cheap removal in disguise. Timber Maw Larva, wow. Perfect for Stompy, but a little expensive for what it is. Territorial Baloth, we've seen this one. Spire Barrage. Uh, any flavor text that mentions goblins has got to be good. Right, fans? Tempest Owl. That's a steep kicker, but it could be pretty mean in control. Hedron Scrabbler. Quite a few of these. An Artifact Weenie. Scythe Tiger. Dirt Cheap Shroud 3-2. Wow, this is good. Drawback you can live with. Mire Blight. When enchanted creatures don't damage, destroy it. Vampire Nighthawk. Always a welcome sight. Mind Sludge. Oh man, this one is evil. Target player discards a card for each swamp you control. Oh, I'd hate to be on the receiving end of that. Hedron Crab. Oh yeah. This is one of the uncommon favorites in the set. And another Terra Stomper. I, I showed you this one earlier. Can't be countered, trample, and hyper efficient. This guy seems underrated. People just don't like big fatties because this one, I know it dies to Doomblade, whatever they say, and, and it doesn't have Shroud or anything like that. But still, you would never see a fatty this efficient before the days of power creep. Planes and an angel token. And this is it, guys. Last pack. There better be a Lotus Cobra in here, or I'm eating my hat. Alrighty. This might be my sixth bold defense ever. Is there a, what, the black card under it? Nope. Ruinous Minotaur. I've seen a few of these. This is just a bomb and limited. Just look at that. It's evil. Kitchen table magic really is, loses its fun factor when you got land destruction on top of that. Explorer scope, always nice. Core hook master, we've seen this one. Oran reef recluse, a spider that can also destroy a creature with flying if you kick it. This whole set seems so good for limited. So many two for ones. Tuck Tuck Grunts, Collar of Gales, seems like Merfolk finally got a comeback in this set. Bloodseeker, Tangle Sap, Goblin Shortcutter, and now for the for our old friends the Uncommons. Inferno Trap, another Baloth, this one is the Woodcrasher, Hmm. Now that's nasty. Quest for the gem blades. Combine this with pro proliferate, and you got some serious mayhem. 
another blood tribute. This is a a pretty awesome rare that is, that I pulled in another pack, and seems to be the realm of the duplicate rares right here. Come on, I hope there's a foil in here. Come on, come on, foil, come on, foil. Nope. Well, thanks for watching. This I've finally gone through all 36 packs of my Zendikar box. Was it worth the money? I'd say it probably was. There's plenty of keeper cards in this set. And the janky stuff I can just sell. And I'm still satisfied with a lot of the pulls I got. I got some things that you could call chase rares, but no, but still no fetch lands. What a bummer, but I got Chandra. Whenever you pull a Planeswalker, it's always at least a partial success. And I got plenty of rares, both good and bad, and a shitload of awesome commons and uncommons that put this set on the map. And, of course, the glorious full art lands. Hope you had fun. Tune in next time when a new set comes in to my doorstep. Biospark 88 out.